A survivor of the motorcycle crash in New Hampshire that killed seven people has filed a lawsuit. Attorney John Heyman says he filed a negligence suit yesterday on behalf of Joshua Morin. The negligence suit names Vladimir Zuhovsky charged in connection with the crash and the Massachusetts truck company he worked for. Heyman says Morin of Dalton, Massachusetts, fractured three bones in his left leg and sustained several other injuries in that crash. Morin is still at Maine Medical Center where he was flown to after the crash. Now, meanwhile, the motorcycle community is coming together tonight in Brewer to honor those victims in that deadly crash. News Center's Jackie Mundry joins us from Jeff's Catering with a look at the candlelight vigil. Jackie. Amanda, we stepped outside so those gathered could share stories in private. But here at Jeff's Catering in Brewer, many people are gathered to honor the fallen seven that were killed in last month's fatal motorcycle accident in New Hampshire. As you can imagine, the people that arrived arrived on their bikes and are right inside, like I said, sharing stories, selling commemorative t-shirts and taking time to remember the lives lost. An event organizer says not everyone can get to some of the larger vigils that are planned, but many still want to honor the fallen. Um, you know, they may not be able to go to Foxborough. They might not be able to go to Laconia for the big ride that's planned down there, but they can come here to Brewer, Maine, um, pay their respects and show, show what a strong community, the veteran community, the biker community and our community is right here. We expect to see that community come together out in the parking lot as the sun sets. They'll gather around their bikes and have a candlelight vigil. Amanda. All right, Jackie Mundry and Brewer. Thanks, Jackie.